Michael Gould, I'm with Fernberg USA. I would say our emphasis on solution-driven products. So, you know, doing our research on the back end with end users, uh, putting a lot of money and in investing in, you know, seeing what they really need in the marketplace, and then creating products for those problems. We're creating solutions uh, in that point. So maybe a little more unique products. Uh, they might cost a little bit more, but it's hopefully you know serving exactly what the end user need or wants. I'd say you know each of the products we serve through ATS now, like with advanced technologies, so HTT, RPR, RGF, they're all unique. Um, I'd say probably the most popular would probably be the advanced HTT or a combination of RGF with HTT. Uh, what makes the most unique probably is their extreme hardiness for traffic, uh, disease resistance, uh, kind of fast establishment, all around kind of hitting key points and what end users are needing. So, you know, very popular in the sports surf markets and also fits a pretty good niche in golf and lawn and landscape as well. Testing and guaranteeing seed quality. So there's multiple facets to that. Um, you know, we approach it from the production side. So there's a bunch of checks and balances within that from our fieldmen, establishing the fields alongside the growers. Um, and especially with the Jacqueline acquisition at Barenbrook, we adopted very um, highly technical expertise with the production feeling that they brought in as well. So combining with our strengths already with Barenbrook, uh, there's a lot of checks and balances already in place of ensuring that the quality is going to be good from the start, um, and then multiple steps thereafter to ensure the seed's good. Uh, but every year is variable. It's a crop. You can't control everything. So sometimes you know, it'll fall lower. Uh, sometimes it'll be better than expected more zero, zero, or lower quality crop. And it just goes through the channels of you know, what end users willing or deems a certain quality grade of product acceptable for their use. So it might go through ATS, might be higher quality, could be sod, or for golf, sports, and landscape, or could go consumer products. Um, kind of depends on the quality, and then it gets to its respective market. As far as bent grasses, T1 is definitely one of the most popular bent grasses we've seen like historically. Um, the up and coming most popular, I would say, as well, is Online 3 XD uh, bent grass. So people are putting that on a kind of the highest or higher end greens, putting greens, tee boxes, sometimes fairways. Um, fairways, though, like I can see a lot of people going more towards T1 and also a T1 Alpha blend, doing that more lately. Um, but bluegrass, again, it's kind of that HCT product that people are putting on. So even taking it down to you know, maybe half inch or even lower on their fairway heights. So getting bluegrass where usually it hasn't gone before. So getting that as taking advantage of the disease, disease resistance. Um, traffic's not as big of a deal with probably in golf, but it certainly is on your tee boxes. So some people will put it there as well. Um, can go in the rough, but we maybe see more like RTF and Talpeskis go in those applications. Um, also taking advantage of the HET with that uh, concept, like a 95.5 with your RTF with HET advanced product. So it's kind of everywhere in some shape or form. Honestly, just kind of keeping the seed wet or moist throughout the whole process from day zero of planting to all the way through final establishment depending on the species that's just a longer time frame so from ryegrass it might just be a week to bermuda grass could be a month uh, depending on the cultivar and the product uh, but also that's kind of where a lot of the yellow well, ours is yellow jacket but with uh, ats it's kind of the exceed coating having some moisture management in that process too so you know it's maybe not a fit for everyone if you've got all the irrigation you need, you've got all the programming, you don't have to worry about tea times or you know scheduling conflicts. Mm -hmm. That can usually be mostly an application for, for raw seed. Uh, but if it's like a risky scenario where you can only apply water a certain amount of time, you don't have much water to apply, that's where we see a lot of water management coming through with the coated seed. 